Hi guys and welcome back to Puppy English. My name is Sam and I'm traveling the world teaching English and this is... Hi, my name is Anna. And today we're going to check out the city of Venice. Let's go. This is Venice, a city that is like no other. In other words, it's a city that's unique and unparalleled. That means there is no city you can compare it to. Welcome to Venice and let's learn English. So guys, now we are in Piazza San Marco and today it was a golden opportunity to show you Venice like this. It was a golden opportunity, it was a great opportunity because Venice is never this quiet. It's incredible to see this square with so few people. So behind us you can see the Basilica, the cathedral. And normally there are huge lines here, but as you can see today, there are no lines whatsoever. So we're going to seize the opportunity, or take the opportunity, to have a look inside. As I walked in the cathedral, the first thing I saw and really liked were the marble pillars. Those are the tall things you can see Anna walking past that support the building. But the most impressive thing has to be the incredible golden ceiling. Anna, so what do you think of the cathedral? Okay, the cathedral was really beautiful. It has a long history and it, it has a really nice architectural point of view because it is in San Marco and it's over the sea, so it is a nice structure to see and to check out. So Anna is our cathedral expert. She's from Ecuador where they have beautiful cathedrals. I've been. They're really nice. So, good job, Anna. It was time to check out the renowned canals. If something is renowned, it's world famous. Venice is so confusing. It's like a maze, or you can say a labyrinth, and it's full of dead ends. So it's, they're like points you can go no further. So we keep getting lost, but hopefully we'll get there soon. Okay, so with every turn you take in Venice, you don't know what you're going to get. You don't know what you're going to see. But finally, we arrived in Canal Grande. So we're by Canal Grande now, the Great Canal or the Grand Canal. And it's full of boats and the gondolas are what people use to get around Venice. But they're very expensive. You can say they're extortionate. They're very expensive. Or you can say they cost an arm and a leg. So I might pass at this time. We were starting to get peckish. That means a little bit hungry. And we found this charming bar where they did chiquetti, which is a type of tapas which you find in Venice. These ones were particularly good. So this is the bar of the gemelli, which is like the twins bar. We've got the two gemelli here. Ciao. Hello. Ciao. 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 Uh, it's really good. It's tasty stuff. Time to eat, so I'm getting some typical food that you find on the street in Venice, including Spritz Select. This is a very red drink, it's very refreshing. And we've also got some snacks here, you can see, including uh, bacala, which is salted codfish, uh, which is a traditional thing to eat. I'd describe it as creamy, actually. Cheers. Cheers! After lunch, I started following Anna, but she seemed to have no idea where she was going. Anyway, we found this little shop that sold Venetian carnival masks, and they were made of paper mache, so paper stuck together to make the form. <laughs> Here you can see Anna picking out a mask. If you pick something out, it means you choose it, you select it. Wow. <laughs> it goes really well with your current face mask. Yes. <laughs> if something goes well with something else, it means it's a good combination. It looks good together. I went back outside and I was feeling a little bit dizzy. I was having a bit of a problem walking at this point. So we went to find the water again. You can see behind me that the water comes right the way up to the building. So often the buildings actually get flooded. If there's a storm or a lot of water, uh, well, there's not a lot they can do. And they're going to get wet. Soaks, in fact. Very wet. Everywhere you go in Venice, you're going to find water. And there are also some amazing bridges with beautiful views. So, Anna, how would you describe the views from this bridge? They are breathtaking. Which means? Which means it is 
Very beautiful. Very beautiful. I was starting to give up on Anna, but we looked at the forecast and we saw it was going to rain. So time to wrap up the video. That means to finish. So we've seen a bit of Venice and we've learned some English, but to be honest with you, we've only scratched the surface. That means we've only seen a little bit and there's a lot more to check out. So maybe we'll do Venice again. Anna, what do you think? Yes, we should do it again. Okay, thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye! That is the incredible city of Venice, a place you must go to one day. I'm traveling the world and I'm teaching you English. Where do you think I should go next? Time to get out of here before it tips it down. It's going to start raining cats and dogs.